Good morning and welcome to Monday Minutes. This is the fifth episode and today I wanted to talk about straightening your hair without damaging it. Um, everybody knows heat can damage hair if you do it too much so it's really best to give your hair a break um, at least a, a day or two in between using any kind of heated styling tool. Daniel would like to say good morning. <laughs> <laughs> he just started liking to wear hats, so I'm enjoying that. Um, but there's also things you can do when you're using the tools to damage your hair less because we all like to, to use heated tools for different styles. I really like the smooth texture of straight ironed hair because mine has this, this little wave to it, so I like the, the change. So the first thing um, is to always use a heat protection spray or other product. This one is just Tresemme, but um, there's tons of them out there, so just pick your favorite one. Um, and also, set your straight iron, let's see here, to 365 degrees, um, not hotter than that. Higher heat can make it straighten faster, but your heat, your hair actually burns um, at 420 degrees so you know you don't want to get too close to that and uh, you'll start start causing some real damage um, so I'm gonna go ahead and straighten mine while we're here you can just spray your heat protection on try and get the ends especially because they're more fragile Also, be on the lookout in the next couple of weeks. This hair is going to be much shorter. I've decided to cut my hair because it's has thinned since having Daniel and shorter haircuts are usually better for thin hair. So until it starts really filling out again, I think I'll keep it shorter. I'm thinking like maybe all the way up there. So we'll see. <laughs> I should pop up on, on one of these videos with short hair one day soon. So I've set my, yep, I've set my iron at 365. It actually doesn't have um, that many numbers on it, but it has a little dot for 365. So got that right. And then you just take piece by piece. Once you have the heat protection spray on there, let it dry a little bit. You do piece by piece and you don't want to stop for more than a couple seconds, because once again, too much heat. Now, one way that you can add some volume while you are straightening um, is when you get up to the top here, you can go grab it and go straight up. That gives a little bit of lift to your roots. You can always do some back combing and a little bit of teasing too, but this is one easy way to just add a little bit of lift as you're going along. I'll try not to make too many weird faces at the camera while I do this. <laughs> so let's see, as you go along the, the crown of your head, just try and go up instead of down, which is what I do naturally. Um, heat protection spray also usually um, has stuff in it to help tame frizz and to help it straighten easier. So even though you might have your iron at a lower temperature than normal, the spray will help it work better. Okay, I'm gonna... Since my hair is so long, I usually split it into two like this, and pull some on either side so that I can kind of separate it with my fingers and go through and get the back part. I really don't use heat on my hair very much because I um, damaged it a couple years ago by 
bleaching it blonde myself. I had it like platinum blonde and really killed my hair. So I've really been trying to be gentle with it ever since then. Um, so I very rarely straighten it actually, but I would like to um, start doing it a little bit more. So I've been learning about how to do it without damaging it too much. Just makes it much smoother and more manageable, less frizzy. And if you're wondering where I am today, I'm actually in my living room and all my stuff is set up on my fireplace mantle so that it's safe from Daniel's hands. Since I was using heat today, I didn't want him to pull this down or anything like that. <laughs> so, this is my living room. Okay, I think pretty good. There are also ways I don't know if you knew, um, where you can curl your hair with a flat iron. I'm not real good at it, but I did see last night a tip for just giving it some wave, where you just go back and forth like this, all the way down. Curl it under this way, then curl it under that way. And that just gives it a little bit of wave, so that's kind of nice. Gives it some shape around your face. Do that a little bit on this side. All right, and then just to finish up here, I'm just going to use a mini flexi and put up the top of my hair. If you aren't familiar with Lilla Rose yet, I am a Lilla Rose stylist. And Lilla Rose has lots of really pretty, comfortable accessories that stay in your hair really well. And they come in, our flexi clips come in seven different sizes, and this is the smallest size. We also have all the way up to the big, giant one that works for people with a lot of hair. But I'm just going to put up the top. So a lot of people use bobby pins for this. But I'm going to use my mini flexi today. I'm just gonna gather up a little bit here. I like to use a uh, boar bris bristle brush for a little bit of smoothing. Also, I don't know if it's just fine hair that this works good on, but I have fine hair and I love uh, a brush like that for smoothing. So once I have the hair gathered, I'm just going to take the pin of my flexi, slide it right under the top there, right along my scalp, and then put the pin through the other side there. So then I have a cute little copper rose on the top of my head, keeps my bangs out of the way. And that's it, so I'm all straightened without damaging and my hair's up for the day and that really didn't take that long. I took longer than I usually do to do my hair, but um, wasn't too bad. And we are off to do our grocery shopping now. So thanks for watching. Um, happy Monday, happy April. I hope you have a great day.